When it's done rendering, uh, you're gonna close Virtual Dub. Then we're gonna go to Sony Vegas. Just lagging a bit. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, let me go to import media and uh, select your uh, virtual dub render and then you go to import media again and now this time go to C program files and uh, fraps movies and select your <coughs> uh, fraps recording now drag this on timeline so you see there's no audio that's why we have this fraps file here uh, you can delete this video track here you only want to audio uh, now you need to uh, like sync the sa sync the audio track with the video file. Let's put it put this on preview half. Okay, the shot is just there. I'm just gonna drag this like this. So now it's kind of in sync. Okay, I'm just gonna extend this a bit. Okay, uh, now you can see that uh, the we got these black bars here. That's because we recorded in for three aspect ratio. What you want to do is you're going to go to event pan and crop, select the default 16 to 9 t widescreen TV aspect ratio, and um, it kind of like zooms up a bit, removes the black bars, makes it makes it look really cool. Uh, just put this back, back back to best full of any rendering. Um, <laughs> Uh, one thing you don't want to do to PC clips, which you usually do to PVR clips, is that you don't want to disable resample. If you're disabling resample on PV PC, you're dropping way too much frames, it makes it look really choppy. Especially since we're rendering in 50 frames per second, so YouTube will already uh, like drop to uh, 20 frame frames from the final product. Uh, go to render as. Select a uh, video for Windows AVI. Uh, just select the default template and go to custom and copy these settings. Um, HD is 720p, 50 frames per second. And sorry, not this. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that you uh, uncheck include audio. You don't want audio on your clip. And for project, make sure video rendering quality is at best. And hit OK and just start the renders. I'm just gonna rename it this as Vegas Render. And install it starts rendering it. Okay, so when you finished rendering, uh just press close and go to render again. This time uh select MB3 audio and 320 kilobytes per second CD transparent audio template. I'm just, I'm just gonna name this as audio and render it, render it really quickly. And press close, now you can close Sony Vegas and go to make Y and say something shit about my templates. Um, it, it will ask you to update, you wanna press no, you never wanna up, update your make Y, this is, this is the absolutely best version of it. Uh, now uh, go to tools, uh, Avicen script creator, and for video input, uh, select your Sony Vegas render. And close that. And make sure you uncheck resize. You don't want to resize your video. Then click save. And I'm just going to name this as AVS script. Okay, you can close that again. And um, select codec X264 and file format MP3. And you select your video profile. Um, and mine will be Mazarini High 700p. I, uh, this, you got the same, except uh, the name is a bit different, I 
think I'm not quite sure um, <clears throat> then go to um, a press NQ say successfully converted YV12 uh, first time when you're doing this it's, it will say something a bit different but just hit OK or something like that uh, I guess we got uh, some old stuff here just gonna delete those oh what the hell oh shit <laughs> I actually <laughs> deleted that uh, video I'm gonna do now so press NQ again okay uh, so you now you got these three renders here um, you it will it will render your clip three times because uh, the mode is three pass automated so it requires three renders and uh, it's gonna take a while depending on the length of your clip so go ahead and put the priority to high in order to make it uh, render faster okay now uh, once, the re once the rendering is done you got one final thing to do you got a tools uh, muxer mp3 muxer I mean mp4 muxer uh, go to video input select your um, just rendered file now go to audio input and select your Vegas audio render and mux it output uh, I'm gonna name it as final product then just press Q and start and it's done we got our final product right here okay guys that was my complete PC movie making tutorial uh, I hope you really got I ho really hope you guys appreciate all the hard work I've done for this tutorial uh, this is this was so time consuming with all the rendering and AVI demoing and stuff like that so yeah uh, if you have any questions feel free to send me a private message on YouTube or add me on Xfire uh, my Xfire is on my YouTube page so you can check it out there uh, good now I think I, I think that's it so I'll see you guys later bye